I'm Kasia and I work on experiments in strong field dynamics in condensed matter. During this battle, I will focus on the practical challenges to add to science experiments in solids. I am really interested in discussing the difficulties of putting high power lasers onto solid samples, melting or damage. Uh, but I will also discuss the interesting processes that are very hard to couple in experiments, like propagation effects within a sample. Hi, I am Francisco Navarrete from the University of Rostock. I work theoretically on high homogeneous generation in solids, and during the Atos Science in Solids Baron, I will join the discussion on how to close the gap between theoretical calculations and experimental results, and the physical processes behind those discrepancies. I am Stefano Cavaletto from Oz University. Now, in our battle, you hear a lot about AHAG in solids. I'll be talking about ATAS, ATAS second transient absorption spectroscopy. This is a very promising technique for accessing strong field dynamics in solids. And what I'd like to discuss with you is what challenges we still need to address if we want to make ATAS a true analytical technique. And if we want to use it to reconstruct ultra fast electron dynamics from transient absorption spectra. Hi, my name is Javier Rivera de Ann. I'm a PhD student at the Quantum Information Theory Group at ICFO. And from a more applied part, one of the things we are starting to learn about the science of solids is the great potential of high harmonic generation towards quantum technology applications. And on the other hand, from a more technical part, one of the things I think we need to better understand are the different analytical and numerical frameworks that there exist in order to characterize high harmonic generation processes in solids, and how the different pictures they provide can help us to bridge the gap between theory and experiments.